back to the vlog. Today is not my day because it's that time of the month, okay? And today is day one, which is always the worst for me. And I just feel so exhausted and so drained, truly. And it's not very fun. So we're trying to like get ready. I want to try and film a bunch of things today, which of course the one day where I'm not feeling well is the day where I'm like, let me film five different videos. Getting ready helps me feel a little bit better. Makes me feel like I have it kind of together. So that is what we are trying to do right now. It's just going to be a chill vlog today because I really don't feel like doing anything besides staying home. So we'll see what we get up to, what I can come up with for today's vlog. So that way you're not just watching me lay in bed all day because if I could, that's what I would be doing is laying in bed all day. I'm going to get it together. I think I'm going to slick back my hair because it's just... Ugh. There's just too much happening. Um, I got some Phil's coffee. I got the mint mojito, which is so good. Women have it so hard. I didn't ask for this life. I really didn't. I did not ask to have a period every month. It's truly unfair that we have to go through this every single month. Like what? And we're expected to go to work? Who said that was okay? That should be illegal. It really should. Let me go to the bathroom and do my hair. Oh my gosh, my reflexes are insane. I am Spider-Man. Truly Spider-Man. I just caught my entire phone. Wow. Whew, that was crazy. Okay, Spidey. I think today we're just gonna slick the hair back into a bun because I don't know what's happening. I kind of have had this thought because Vlogmas is coming to an end, you know? And I know it's really sad and we want vlogs every single day. I think this vlogmas, I really realized how much I enjoy vlogging more than the sit down videos. And I used to just like thrive on the sit down videos. Like obviously the sit down videos usually get more views because people like hauls and like purchaser pass or like whatever. But I truly have just been enjoying vlogging my life, even if I'm not doing anything. I don't know if that's boring to watch, but I feel like the videos where you guys have like left the most comments and like the most positive feedback have been the get ready with me where I'm talking about um, life in your 20s and the dance vlog when I started going back to dance. And it's interesting because none of those videos, neither of those videos are Disney related. And usually obviously like my Disney videos do the best because like I'm like that's like what this channel has been created off of. You guys have been liking the non-Disney content at least on YouTube which is interesting and I'm like kind of here for it because I felt like I don't know I feel like a lot of creators kind of go through this but like when you kind of like pick a niche per se um, or like a certain topic or category that you want to create content about sometimes you feel kind of stuck in that content because you know those are the videos that do well but it's been kind of nice and like reassuring to see that you guys like actually care about my like life outside of Disney um so yeah with all that being said I just kind of feel like I want to post more like non-Disney related vlogs like, it's just, like, more about my life, which I feel like I do, but I feel like I don't do it enough. I kind of feel like in the new year, I kind of want to start posting more just, like, regular vlogs. I don't know. Let me know you guys' thoughts if you guys are into that vibe. Like, I will still do the Disney stuff. I'm like, that's not going to change. Um, but maybe not as much. There's literally only so many hauls I can do or how many collection videos I can do or purchaser passes. Like, not sustainable <laughs> to like do that content all the time. I feel like doing vlogs where I'm just like chilling in my room, like I feel like that's a lot more doable and will help me be more consistent because it's just like I don't have to like plan too much. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just rambling though. I don't know where my hair tie is, so that's why I'm just standing here. I need to go find one. We got a hair tie and I think we're gonna do a little braid. I literally just had another hair tie and I've already 
Lost it. Every day, and I was like, it's not getting better. I don't understand what's happening. Found it on the oh floor. I'm changed so I can kind of like get my life together a little bit and feel more put together. I want to film a purchaser pass so it can go up maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Or in two days. I don't know. One, this zip up, which is from Marshalls. Okay, Marshalls. I need to go to Marshalls. Should we go today? Or should we make it a separate vlog? Because there's so much that I've been seeing online. So many really cute bubble bar Disney stuff. Pink Valentine's Day stuff. Because the Valentine's Day stuff is already out apparently in December. So I'm like, I have to go now because if I wait until February, it's all gonna be gone. I'm gonna be sad. So we get to do a vlog on that. Anyways, um, this is from Marshalls. I always get a question on this one. This is also, this is from TJ Maxx. Disney hoops from the parks. This little top. I like this one because it has like little bunnies on it. Um, it's from Cider. It's wearing these like brown pants that don't really match this outfit, but they're comfy and it's what I needed today. I told you guys that I made a purchase on uh, Stony Clover and it didn't come in. And of course, literally the day after I filmed that Stony Clover haul, the rest of my items arrived. Here's what we got. We got two christmas patches um so i got this uh swan and then this deer and i'm so obsessed with these patches because they're like velvety i shared this on my instagram stories if you guys saw that but they're like velvety and they're christmas patches but they don't look like christmas like this one has like a red bow but like besides that like it doesn't really scream christmas so that's why i really loved them and the pastel colors i don't know they were just so pretty i just didn't really have an idea of like what i wanted to do with them showed you guys this keychain in my um recent my accessories video i think it was the video i just posted yes here is the Minnie mouse keychain which is super cute and it has little mini but i kind of wanted to play around and just figure out what to do with patches okay i have so many patches first of all today's just gonna be a chatty vlog because i just want to talk because that makes me feel better i have this one this is a bo peep patch which i don't know what i want to do with her either she's literally just i don't know she's so cute i just couldn't pass her up i have this patch which originally i wanted to put this like on a denim mini pat pouch but i don't know and then this one is a little a denim bow which i wanted to put on a denim keychain wallet i don't know what do you guys think is that cute i feel like that's a cute idea i just need to like find those because they don't sell them on the website anymore and i definitely thought they were going to be in stock for like ever so kind of sad about that i got this on poshmark and it's this super pretty pink ruffly type of mini pouch and i got this from poshmark but this is from the seeing stars collection they have this in blue and they also have it in purple and they're like really pretty pastel colors um but of course i got the pink i'm considering also getting a large in this i feel like a large would be really cute for like packing and stuff i just wanted to say the quality in this is so different um i think it's because one of the older styles but there's like lining like like i don't know if it's like wire but it's like it feels like hard around the edge whereas my other stony clover minis like my newer ones they don't feel like that so i'm like the quality is just so much better on this one um the inside is also nylon um and it just has like the little logo but I thought like because velvet that like one of the one of these patches would look cute on it. And I feel like this is my favorite option. Or the other option is like a Sherpa mini pouch would be cute with this. So it's like more Christmas vibes. Um, I feel like this is cute, but I don't know if I love the purple trim. So yeah i don't know i don't think bo peep would look cute on this like it's cute but she just doesn't fit the vibe 
unfortunately poor girl between these two i think the deer is my favorite i don't know i literally bought this because i had the idea of putting one of these patches on it and now that i have it in person i'm like mm, it doesn't really it's not really the vibe i was going for i showed you guys on instagram stories and maybe i should read your responses let's see what everyone said it's like honestly it's pretty split on what you guys think but part of me feels like this is not the right pouch for this collection. So I think it just might be plain for a while until I can figure something out. Love the little pouch though. And I do think I need a large. The large with the ruffles would be so cute with my princess large with the ruffles. Isn't that kind of a vibe? I think it is. I think it is. Um, so let me actually hunt that down on Mercari because I'm pretty sure I have it in my cart. Oh, <gasps> it's sold. No, why did I wait? I'm such an idiot. I do that so often. I like hesitate and I'm like, I don't need it. Let me think about it. Stop thinking about things. Just freaking buy it because then you're upset later. Well, now I really need to hunt that down. I'm so like, I'm actually really mad that I didn't get the large. I'm just going to see what this keychain looks like on a fanny pack. I kind of feel like this will look better on my princess backpack. Yeah, because it's like really big. Like, look at how big this is. Like, that's way too much for a fanny pack, in my opinion. It's just too long. So, I would, I would, if you're gonna get this keychain, I would put this like on a tote bag or a duffel would be cute, um, or a backpack. So, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing with this. <laughs> you guys this morning i woke up at like 5 a.m because it was raining so hard it woke me up i feel like that never really happens because <laughs> it doesn't really rain here literally was pouring so hard it woke me up so early so that's another reason why i'm just like so drained is because i didn't get a good amount of sleep i just kind of want to get cozy and i want to play on my nintendo switch because i feel like i've taken a break from my switch since doing vlogmas because work always is crazy during this time of year and then um vlogmas obviously has taken over my life so i just haven't had time to like sit down and just like play and last night i played for the first time and i was having so much fun so i kind of just want to do that for the rest of the night i do have like my pink uh skin to put on my switch so maybe we can do that we have the skin right here here it is oh my god this stuff stresses me out like i am not a diy queen how do we do this i need a hair dryer this is too advanced a lens cleaning wipe which we have and a weeding tool what the heck is a weeding tool let's go to the bathroom and try this we have our switch they said i need to clean my hands oh, this is like a science experiment truly really wash our hands using our Disney 100 soap, our little Mickey. We're going to do the back of this first, just because if it's ugly, then I don't have to see it. I'm trying not to touch it so much. I'm so nervous. You guys, this is literally impossible. How am I supposed to get it super perfectly? Oh no, this is gonna bother me so much. This is so hard. I'm nervous. It looks pretty good. I do say so myself, like, I feel like I did a pretty good job getting out all of the air bubbles, or at least most of them. 
But look at it, it looks like a brand new switch. I'm so excited. Okay, um, there is like this little piece right here that like the skin kind of like folded in. So I think I'm gonna try and grab it with some tweezers to just kind of fill in that little space of yellow. But besides that, I think it looks pretty good. And the front is the most important because that's what I'll be looking at. And if the back isn't perfect, it's okay. I'm not gonna look at the back. I'm just gonna look at the front, so. To me, this looks pretty freaking perfect and I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I couldn't figure out how to fix that other edge, but we're just gonna move on. I have like these little things to put on your, on like the little pads right here. I just bought these new ones from Amazon and they're like little pretty flowers. So I think I'm gonna do the baby pink ones. they be so freaking cute. I'm so excited. It has like, two different shades of pink. We're gonna do the lightest pink. Okay, this is hotter than I thought it was gonna be. Period. <gasps> Look at it, it's so cute, the little flower. It is so much cuter. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I might get questions on this. I found this at a flea market, at the San Jose flea market. It has like Duffy and Friends on it, which is so cute. So I put my thing in here my Switch, and then I have a couple of games. So the games that I have are Animal Crossing, which I stopped playing because I got kind of bored of having to pay back loans. Like, that's so much work. I have Mario Kart, which is always fun. This SpongeBob Bikini Battle of Bikini Bottom. Literally my favorite game, and I bought it used at GameStop. I get like glitched and I had to stop playing it. So I kind of want to get another one that actually works. The other game that I have is the Bratz game, which I finished literally in like two days. The one that I'm currently, like literally my favorite game of all time is Harry Potter Lego. I'm obsessed with it. I have two more like movies to go. I think I only have two left. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when it's over because I literally love this game. It's so good. The headphones I got for my birthday, look at me now. She's a gamer girl and we love her. That is it for today's video. I am literally just gonna lay in bed for the rest of the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye guys.